craftsmen. We don't fly at the same time. If we were there barging each other out of the course, I would say it was it was rivalry. There's a fierce competition going on, you know, and I want to go faster than Mike and, and vice versa, but um, all I've got to do is just try and fly as fast as I can each time I go out there. This extreme sport is so popular with G-Force junkies that even Formula One aces queue up for a ride with Besne. Last time I remember I had no idea where I was because you went up and like... Normally I, I don't particularly like flying, but when I was in this small plane with him, I wasn't scared at all, so I really enjoyed it. So we just fly as much as the passenger wants. If, if it's too much, we stop. So we always just go till the limit of the passenger. Uh, but I guess today the limit will be quite high. When you go away from uh, the runway, upside down, you have to pull negative G, so the blood goes up to your brain, and that's, that's interesting. I think that's the, the hardest G-force to deal with. Or, if hanging by thread below a piece of cloth is your thing, then the aerial ballet that is aerobatic paragliding might just be the club for you. In self-composed flight programs, pilots pull out all their tricks, which are primarily evaluated for their choreography. The long list of stunts is impressive, with wing overs following spins, partial asymmetric closers and full stalls, the tumbling and the dot on the eye landing on the raft near the lakeshore. If you have the rare ability to be a daring aerobatic ace, then membership of this club might just be the thing for you.